Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And after a pretty fun time at the school festival with a special someone, it's time to head back home, get some rest. Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Utaba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go! The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in... In a labyrinth of my heart. I knew I 
had to leave it. But I, I couldn't do it by myself. Futaba. Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When she said she was gonna go to the beach out of nowhere, and even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro... But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. <sighs> Back in the day, I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? You think this is a game? You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that He's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves. He's actually one of them? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a Phantom Thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So... Basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months. And on top of that, Futaba's involved too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way Mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. 
run away, hide, and end up here, some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? I mean, the one who killed Mom's the one at fault! <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If, by chance, you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Ugh, I'm tired. Well, that sucked. What? What? He knows everything? You gotta be effing kidding. Wait, are you okay? Did he report you or anything? We likely wouldn't be receiving these messages if he was not okay. I had a feeling that boss was no ordinary man. But he didn't recommend to turn yourself in, did he? I think in that case we can consider him a new ally. Yeah, you're right. I'm more curious about what he mentioned to you. You mean our enemy might be the same people who targeted Futaba's mother? Yeah. Yes. She was killed by mental shutdown. The same method used by the culprit we pursued now. But wait a second, though. Didn't you say Boss had to run from it all? Does that mean someone was trying to stop the news from getting out? Who could do that? Who do you think the culprit could be? I don't know, but whoever they are, they definitely have a lot of power, that's for sure. Ain't you letting your imagination run wild a bit? No, but it would make sense. Wait a sec, if you're right, then wouldn't the police be working for him too? Yes, that's not impossible. This is getting too big for me to even think about. <sighs> Can we really win this? We're gonna win, no matter what! You're right. We can't back down. We have to avenge Futaba's mom and all the other people that died. Guess the chief had an inkling after all. Yeah. Futaba. <laughs> Anyways. Uh. Sorry. Doing okay? It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. Well. <sighs> it's done is done. It's so late already. Is Sojiro still awake? Yeah, that was like 10 minutes ago. This is kind of awkward. Uh... Can use my bed if you want. Hey, wait! Shouldn't you sleep on the sofa so that Futaba can go ahead and sleep on the bed? Oh yeah, whoops. Mm. I'm gonna go home. Okay. Night. <sighs> Hope she isn't too down about this. I mean, he was bound to find out eventually, right? I don't know. Sojiro trusts us, and well, we did help out Futaba. Let's call it a day. Right. Can't only do so much in one day. Like, wake up, study, and then go immediately to bed. As per usual. That concludes the speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs>
We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the Phantom Thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? That may have been true, but still. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the Chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. I can't believe how big the bounty is! We should look for the Phantom Thieves ourselves! Akechi suggests they go to this school, right? <laughs> yeah, but let's not. There's been too many mental shutdowns as it is. It's probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. But 30 million yen, man! Just let me dream a little. <sighs> I could buy... Uh, well, with inflation, and then taxes, and... Yeah, maybe we shouldn't. <laughs> Good lord, I'm tired of being a Phantom Thief! God! Yo, you see the news? Yeah. I'd brace myself for this possibility. Actually, having a wanted notice out for us feels kind of... weird. Yeah? I'm not sure we're gonna get away this time. Our backs are truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good, though. Yeah, you're right. Let's talk more in person. Hopefully, that'll help us figure a way out of this. Eh? We're wanted now, and the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Mejed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kaneshiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. 
That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru... It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey. What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? It's probably because... we weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah. That really is it. I was so caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto... Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too! But still, it's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah, we'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against, and whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. I take back what I just said. I can't let it end like this. Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. be a phantom thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice, but that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. Man. This sucks. I got a message from akechi Kun. Huh? He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Why? Who does he think he is? Trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this, too. I don't like that. We'll be okay, right? 
Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we're going to overcome this together. Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. Including him? Let's go about this calmly. We'll see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. It's all we can do, really. But God, what if he just shows up? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna turn you guys in for 30 million. We can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. Yeah. But I'm not allowed to leave LeBond at night, so I'm just gonna organize my magazines and stuff. Like, I don't know. Seriously, as the protagonist, we sure aren't able to move the story in any meaningful way at the moment. So, hey, Sojiro. The uh, things are kind of dicey between us, but... Hey. Yeah, let's just try and focus on something else. Like, I don't know, we're running out of stuff to read. I think some of these are also... Yeah, where is it? Dump. I know I have it. Yes, this one. Hey. Now that looks about Seaside Park, right? Yes. But you already been there. Seems kind of pointless to read it. Well, I don't know everything that's there. I might as well do this now because <laughs> these books are kind of just sitting in our inventory. And yeah, I want to read them. It's about Asakusa. But well, we've already been right. there. I think there's one more. I want to read the Chinatown book though. Because man, Chinatown's kind of sick. At least the ones I've been right. to in Los Angeles and Boston. I don't know if they have one here. So make sure you're Mara. Oh uh, no. Goodbye. Please don't throw me out. <laughs> Beyond the buns, rediscover the charms of Chinatown. Ooh. Oh. Wow. It's Motomachi Chinatown, huh? The pictures really show how lively that place is. Everything from high class traditional cuisine to street food. Like Zhao Long Ba. I hope I said that right. Uh, this seems like a fun place to explore. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. My mouth's watering just thinking of the buns. Even though the book is wow. called Beyond the Buns or whatever. I like buns. That's all I'm saying. They're tasty. Especially pork. Ooh. Love it. All right. Anyway, we can go there now. And invite our friends and stuff. It's cool. You can even get souvenirs. You know, something to brighten up our day a little bit. God, these past couple episodes have been so, you know, dark. I mean, for good reason. We're kind of wanted men and women, for crying out loud. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We! have the power to change this! Let us end this chaos! Through my hands and yours! He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. 
We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it. I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in sai Sun. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? I can't really explain it. But I guess it's how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan... I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, 
So I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Beats me. I hope it's just my imagination, though. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi-kun kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a phantom thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? Hmm? <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey! You need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point, no, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace. So I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! Don't fall for it! Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! 
Whoa! Same as always. Let me finish first. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Today's the day. Now for today's train news. First off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves, oh god. Secondly, the opposition party has submitted a vote of no confidence regarding the current cabinet. That along with legislator Shido's plan for a new party has sparked fears of governmental disbandment. I don't even know what that means, but crap, if they actually have new evidence on the Phantom Thieves. Yee, we better hurry. God, class needs to end soon. Jesus. Where are we meeting today? Oh, right. We never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. Huh? Where's that? Hint, the government office district. Kasumigaski. Hmm. Indeed. Oh, I heard of that place. Never been there, though. Well, that's understandable. Me either. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa. Just look at that map, it's impressive. The police department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Security? All in one place? The Dye Building's right near there, too. For real? What kind of scary place are we going to? You won't get caught, right? Nah. According to Akechi-kun, our identities haven't been discovered yet. So, we're just going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory. Hmm. Huh. Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're going to meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be heading into a lion's den. Yeah, no kidding. But we've come this far. We're going to be just fine. Maybe. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For... real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? Oh. <laughs> this is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh! <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> Well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? 
we played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai San in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. <laughs> Courthouse is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though, whenever arrests are made for her cases. I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name, too. Code name? Phantom Thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu... He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? Alright. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. Here we go. The final mission. It's business as usual. First off, we need to find an infiltration route. Right. And man, I love this place so much. I just... God, there's something special in the air. But! We got no time to lose! Let's secure an infiltration route. And steal Nijima's heart. I guess I should say size heart, because that could get awfully confusing. But you know which one I'm talking about. Let's get in there. And get this palace started. It is... One of my favorites. Just throwing that out there, for good reason. We're all ready. Okay. Let's do it. Looks like we're able to sneak in from here. Let's go. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude, you planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No, this is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. 
That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. Considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? I'm glad to see you remember. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Well then, let's go. Okay, we're in. Well then, let us begin by securing our route. Yeah. By the way, Crow, friggin' the mask. Incredibly dangerous. Don't bump into me with that thing. <laughs> no. This palace is... It's a blast, man. There's something about the casino atmosphere I just like. It makes for really good video game levels, in my opinion. Even though, seriously, Nijima, clean your heart out, girl. This place is confusing. At least moving around in it is, but yeah, we're gonna be just fine. And I think now is a good time to start powering up some of our personas. Who knows what the heck we're gonna fight in here? Well, I do, because I played the game before, but you know what I mean! The old shadows? Nah. These ones are gonna be a lot stronger. Welcome! Come on out, you petty thieves. She can see us? You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down, and I will tell you where it is. What? We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. Well, this is a nice change of pace. We'll do the boss fight right in the lobby. Love the outfit, by the way. So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. Let us get after her, Joker. I'm going! You just told me that! Jesus, Crow, you just joined the... Whatever. Let's get up to this elevator and chase after Nijima. Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak! Just give me it straight! Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. 
I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Well then, let us begin. Don't worry, you can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood! He's finally here. Robin Hood has been summoned! Now let's see his signature attack! Megaton Ro Okay, we're moving on. We're not gonna hold it against Crow. He's a rookie after all. Moving on. Oaks! His main way of being defeated is just blessed skills, but you know, this guy's got nothing on us, so we can take our time. Blessed skills, yeah, are the way to go, but I want to use Megaton Rate! It looks so cool! Look at it! And he usually crits too. Whatever! We're moving on. It's a little bit more damage, and this guy's out of here. Seriously, is this game even a challenge? We didn't even get hit! Wait, did we actually not get hit? No, I think we hit once. Doesn't matter! We won! You're not so bad. When you hit. And I am capable of much more. <laughs> now then. Let us deal with the shadows quickly. Uh, wait. Doesn't sound like we're gonna get ambushed based on what we heard earlier? Yeah... I agree. I'd like to deal with them as quick as we can. But now that we have an infiltration route, I suggest we return for now and prepare. Yeah, retreat does seem like an order. Very well. I trust your experience and judgment. Let us do that. Makes sense, you know. If we come back another day, they won't expect it and all that. The guard will be lowered. You know how it is. Or it's just the game telling us, hey, get out of here, we're not ready yet. Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We will need to explain the steps we take, though. That is unnecessary. First, we secure an infiltration route. Then we send the calling card, correct? Uh, yes? How do you know that? In doing so, the core of the ruler's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. Yeah? By taking the core, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps. Could be something along those lines. A plus? It ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this crap, okay? I'm not underestimating anything. I assure you. By the way, Nijima-san's shadow seemed really confident. Yeah, no kidding. Yes, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You will let me know when you enter the palace, yes? Hmm... I mean, I might let you know. Come now. There's no need for hostility. I will simply have to come to LeBlanc. Every day in that case. That's enough for now. Let's prepare for the coming task. Yeah. <laughs> yes. My apologies for somewhat derailing this conversation. We will be counting on you, Akechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes. I'll do my best to live up to all your expectations. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. Don't worry. I plan to. But, yeah... Things are moving pretty quickly, huh? This is a rare opportunity. Let's steal Nijima's heart! Yeah, I gotta save her. And prove her innocence. Things have really soured. There's even a bounty on you guys! Yeah, I know. I seriously believe the fan of these are innocent. Uh, by the way, I changed the survey question. It's already up in flames, though. Mm. It's a problem for me, too, if people don't think the fan of these are heroes. Ugh. Just try and clear the stigma on your name as soon as you can, okay? I'm counting on you! So people are turning on us even in his survey? Our popularity is really at an all-time low. Even if it is, we gotta do the right thing. And prove our justice. And luckily for us, we have a new ally who is... Well, pretty strong. You might not have been able to tell from that previous battle, but no. Akechi... In similar fashion to Persona 4, his Persona gets some insane skills. Hama and Mudo, God, he's amazing, and a noble thief that made waves in England during the Middle Ages. He's an expert archer and leader of the Merry Men, Outlaws of Justice. 
who made Sherwood Forest their home. And God dang it, I love Robin Hood. He's he might be my like top five favorite personas in the entire series. He's just that cool. I love him a lot. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And see you next time with more Persona 5 Royal. Bye.